Alright, welcome to the shows, guy. Welcome to the show. Uh, we're going to talk about a traffic method tonight. It's a pretty good traffic method. Uh, we'll, go, we'll start off by looking at what Marie's saying down here. Marie says, hey, Vic, got the library to accept me as their online teacher starting next Tuesday. Isn't that amazing, Marie? And it's not just, and it's really not that amazing that you actually literally went and got the library and then they actually wanted you to be their online teacher. That's not really the amazing part, is it? The amazing part is what? That you freaking took action, man. That crazy? How does that feel? I mean, doesn't that feel good, Marie? I mean, you literally just took action and you got some results, right? That's the key, guys. Can you guys feel that? Or is that just me just being stupid? That That's it right there, guys. It's not, it's not, I mean, you can do anything. You can do, be, have, you can do anything. All it takes is you daggone getting off your butt and going and taking action. That's really it. Isn't it, Marie? That's what Marie did. How does that feel, man? You know what I mean? I mean, was it really all that as bad as you thought it was going to be, Marie? You know how we always, uh, I'm not saying you even had these uh, uh, things that came up or whatever, but most people have these things that come up. <laughs> Big old freaking wall. <laughs> it's that wall, man. It's that wall that you built. You allowed others to build that freaking wall that you got. Everybody's got a wall. I don't got no freaking wall. I used to. I used to have one. It's that freaking wall, man. It's all that wall for, that you listen to all, everybody all your life. You know what I mean? People telling you you can't do this, you can't do that, or so and you so and so couldn't do that, or you can't do that, blah, 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 blah. Next thing you know, you got your freaking wall. Every time you try to do something, <laughs> I'm speaking truth, guys. Is this reality? This is truth, right? This isn't something you learn at freaking Harvard. This is truth. This is the freaking school of hard knocks, man. This is how I did it. I didn't have no book to go by that told me how to go do this and you will get this exact result. didn't work that way. Because when I did whatever I did, 90% uh, of the things that I did, I didn't get the result I wanted. That sucks. That sucks big time. <clears throat> but you know what I learned over the years, though? <clears throat> I'll tell you experience, guys. What I learned was it's part of success. That's what I learned. Now, look. I know that's just nice to say, right? But what does that mean? It's part of success. Here's what it means. It means you freaking expect it to happen, guys. You expect them freaking walls to pop up. You expect that obstacle to pop. You expect it. And a professional entrepreneur, I already know this shit's coming, guys. I already know that crap's coming. I already know. So you know what it does for me? It doesn't get me down, and it doesn't make me want to quit when it comes. You know why? God, I told you why. Because I already expect it. I already know it's going to be tough. That's the reason why there's only 5% of us, guys. 5 freaking percent of us. That's why. We understand that if we don't quit, we have to succeed. Got to. There is no, there is no, no, it, it works. Everybody that I've seen, though, because I've been teaching, no, I didn't know, I retired myself uh, on niche sites. I just built, me and a buddy of mine, we just built so many freaking niche sites that we just had to make money. <laughs> a short version of how I did it, how I retired. We built so many of them that we had to make a lot of money eventually. <laughs> um, and we got good at sales copy. But anyway, um, in 2008, uh, I got bored in 2007. 2008, I decided to come teach. And what I found out was a bunch of get rich quick, junky, no patience having, ain't going to see it through, uh, say a prayer to God, then give up on that prayer to God, and then use some little nice analogy. Well, when God shuts one door, he opens another. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. You are the one slamming the freaking door in God's face. What happened to that last door he just opened? Now you done justify to yourself why you are not a quitter. God must have shut it for me, and he's opened another one. Shut the up. Quit slamming the doors in God's face, guys. If you got a door open for you, walk through it, see it through, and don't freaking quit. That's what it takes. That's the mind of a freaking warrior. That's the mind of a spiritual warrior. Going to go win some souls? You freaking go do it. You want to go make money? Not a problem. Go do it. Leave, leave all the excuses and all the other stupid crap to other people. Allow them to, to keep continuously having those walls that come up. Try to knock your walls down. Now, here's how you're going to have to walk your, knock your walls down. Because we're talking reality here, right? We're not talking some book you want to read. No, whatever. What's the, what's the action part? The action part, guys, is you just go do it. Like Marie, you know, she may have had some uh, trepidations or whatever about going to the library and asking, well, what if they, well, what if they, well, what if they, what if they, <laughs> But she went and done it. She got it done. And even got a bigger result. They want her to be the freaking online teacher of online marketing. You know what that means? That means that they are going to even help spread the word. 
<clears throat> Isn't that amazing? Marie already knows what I'm fixing to say out of my mouth, probably. A couple months from Marie, three months from now, holy cow. You know, I'm a pretty big class. Everybody wants to learn online marketing. Who doesn't want to learn? Everybody wants to go learn how to the easy way to make money. The lazy man's way to a woman slash woman's way to riches. I need to write that book. The lazy way to get rich. There is a lazy way. My definition, I guess, would be the lazy way to get rich. Just hang around me. I'll lead you. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what to do. I'll tell you which turn to make. <clears throat> but on that same note, I always have to preface this. You're going to have to learn how to deal with me. I do deal with a, a disease called bipolarism. I don't actually look at it as a disease, though. I think it's a gift myself. Um, but if you can deal with my craziness sometimes, you know, where I'll, I'll freaking lash out at you, I'll, I'll cuss at you, I'll, I'll freaking make you, I'll, freak, I'll make you so daggle mad. Um, I think it's mixed with, uh, you know, being from Marines too, you know. I was a sergeant Marine Corps, and I think that's, maybe that's just together makes me just freaking my, my uh, you know, I, I want to punch you. <laughs> I want to punch you in the stomach. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to pet you on the head and say it's going to be all right. Because you know why? Because it ain't going to be all right. It's going to get tougher asshole it will get tougher you just get used to it does that make sense am i telling the truth or do you want to, or i can tell you guys what you want to hear now i can be like these other idiots online i can tell you guys what you want to hear all day long and try to get as much money as i can out of y'all that's not what i'm doing this for i don't do this for money guys freaking rewind the tape i made my money years ago i don't do this for money anymore now i do it to make you guys successful I want to be one of the greatest mentors before I freaking leave this earth. That's my job, man. I want to be one of the greatest mentors there were. I want to be one of them. I'm not talking to be, I don't want to be the one. I want to be one of them. Because you know what, guys? I am humble enough to know that there's plenty of other great ones just besides me. That's what I want to be. And how am I going to do that? It ain't, it ain't by coming out here trying to get money from you. It's coming to try to save you, man. From your own self, from all the bull crap that's come up in your life, and all the shell that you built, all that sh this little shell that you build around yourself to keep, to to to, uh, to dodge the pain, the shell that you built over the years to uh, mask the pain, to get away from it. You ain't fooling me. I see the real you. you. Ain't fooling me. I see the real you that's inside of you, and I love that person. I love you. I see you. You can't hide from me. I know the real you. I know you built this shell up. It wasn't on. It wasn't because of you. It's because of some asshole that you're around or something. Some crackhead or some stupid husband yelling at you all the time, or some some wife freaking bitching at you all the time, or some freaking neighbor that daggone wants to throw stuff in your yard or walk your dog in your yard instead of theirs. All this little shell that you built, you know, that you're like, oh, I'm hard now. I'm somebody hard. I got to protect myself. Anyway, the wall, guys. Try, try to try to knock down that wall. That wall that comes up every time. Every time it, every time you want to do something great in your life, and you go, dang man, what well, can I? What if? What if this? What if that? What if that? That's that wall I'm talking about. That's your mind will start. What if? What if? What if? What if? What if? What if? Here's what you got to do. Just somehow practice it, guys. You practice breaking it down. <clears throat> well, I don't want to be. I don't. I don't like. Um, I'm. I'm scared of people. Well, do like what Tim Ferriss did. Four day week work. Four day work week guy. That book, Tim Ferriss. Laid down in a mall, a very, very busy mall. Just laid right down in the middle of it where everybody was freaking walking and took a nap. <laughs> he said he had, he was trying to overcome his fear of people because that's really what it's about, guys. Somehow we fear, we fear people laughing at us. We fear failure that we, you know, they're going to say, well, look at him. Uh, look at her. Uh, she didn't do it again. Uh, you know, who gives a damn about them, guys? Because let me tell you something. A year from now, could you imagine the person that you would become for the rest of us? Did you guys hear that? I want to write that one down. Could you imagine the person that you would become for the rest of us to benefit from you? Could you imagine the person that you would become for an entire year if you did something not worrying about how it wound up? You didn't care if you failed? Wouldn't that be <laughs>